Hey there everyone and welcome back to another video from Face Paint Forum Shop. I'm your artist Rebel Lily Santoya and today we'll be using these incredible line of stencils from Face Paint Forum Shop, the Boost Stencils designed by Denise Cold. We'll also be using this really great practice board by Sally Ann Lynch. It's the child model 0014. There's a front and a back, but it definitely lets you know which side is okay to paint. So here I've got my Always Wicked Art sponge. It's the teardrop sponge. I'm loading the tip of it with Superstar White and the other side of it with Superstar Teal. Now I've got this cardstock and I've cut the edge with a pair of scissors and I've cut it into a curved uh, shape. That way I can cover the eyes while I'm face painting and I won't have to wipe off the eyes later. Voila! We'll do the same thing to the other side. There we go. Now this is an Always Wicked Art sponge, but it's the heart shape sponge. Now I'm gonna show you here. You can either create a heart or use it as a regular sponge. So I'm loading the tip with a white and yellow mix, and then the larger part of the heart shape with La La Land Purple from Superstar. So there's your heart shape, or you can use it this way too. I'm going to go ahead and face paint all the center of this area here. Now I'm using the previous sponge that I used over the eyes and I'm blending these two applications together. All right, iridescent glitter for fun. Now we're going to go ahead and use Denise Cold's Starfish stencil. So here I've actually got a sponge dauber loaded with Superstar Yellow. I believe it's the bright yellow. Alrighty, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. Now I've got the shell stencil and I've loaded a different sponge dauber with Superstar White. I'll also be using DFX White in this design. So the sponge daubers are available for sale at facepaintforumshop.com. There we go. So now I've put a little bit of iridescent glitter on that shell for sparkle and we're using the same stencil and using some of these bubbles. Same thing on the other side. All right, now I went ahead and, and uh, took the starfish stencil. We're gonna add a little bit of these fishies, a school of fish here on both sides of the shell. Now I've got my Lowell Cornell round number three loaded with, it's actually a mix. I mixed uh, Superstar Magenta with uh, Superstar White actually. I wanted to create my own shade of pink here, but you, you're welcome to use any shade of pink. So here we're gonna create a series of teardrop swirls. I'm also gonna be using white as well. Here at the top of the shell, I decided to add a little bit, sort of a crown piece here. Now these practice boards I wanted to mention, we have black ones 
at facepaintforumshop.com. We also have these that are faces, children, women. And these are really great if you want to practice a design, if you want to try something new out, if you even want to practice line work. So go ahead and visit facepaintforumshop.com and see all the practice tools that we have available for you. All right, we're creating a series of dots here. And that completes our centerpiece of the mask or crown. Alrighty, you're welcome to add a bling piece. I love adding gems to little girls' masks or crowns. Um, a face paint forum shop also has chunky glitter, as you see here. It's called Tiger Lily. I love that one as well. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and paint her lipstick on. We're going to add iridescent glitter, and your design is complete. So please visit facepaintforumshop.com. Denise Cold came out with this awesome line of boost stencils, and um, they're all different sorts for all occasions. So please check that out. I hope that this video is inspiring or it helps you, or even I'd love to see you create this mask as well. Alrighty, guys, you have a great one. Thanks so much for tuning in. And have a great day.